Live from the NBC10 Broadcast Center, this is your Arklimus News Source. Voted best newscast and best weather. This is NBC10 News, first at four. Thank you so much for joining us for your first at four. I'm Cindy Langston with your South Arkansas News. Our top story at this hour, more than 100 South Arkansas residents are out of work after the closure of a plant in Union County. NBC 10's JW Meisenheimer was in Huddig today and tells us more. West Fraser Timber has announced that it will be indefinitely shutting down its Huddig location. This change will impact 140 employees and the whole community. The decision was made yesterday as a result of high fiber cost and soft lumber markets. Current market conditions have hampered the profitability of the facility and in the low commodity pricing has made it difficult for us again to be profitable and uh, has, has taken us to this uh, very difficult decision for uh, for the business and for our people. That doesn't mean it's uh, a permanent so uh, so yes, when the market conditions allow us, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll relook at the economics of, uh, of a startup at the Huddig Mill. The closure of the sawmill will take a toll on the businesses in Huddig who rely on sawmill workers for much of their business. I think that it's going to be devastating for the community. Um, it scares me what could happen to some of the families. You have a lot of people here living in the city that actually works there. Another fear that I have is the businesses that we have downtown right across from the mill. That's where people go to buy their lunch. I think that they really depend a lot upon that mill. You're gonna have a lot of young people who will probably be relocating. This change will reduce West Fraser's U.S. lumber capacity by approximately 270 million board feet. West Fraser expects to mitigate the impact on affected employees by providing work opportunities at other company operations. Reporting in Huddig for your Arklamis News Source, I'm J.W. Meisenheimer.